already 2020. We are far from the bug of 2000. I don't know if you remember. It was the the the, the panic. All the computer were to uh, to stop working, and uh, that's 20 years ago. So today's soap, I got my inspiration from Terry of uh, Tree Mary Soap Work. And uh, I saw the explanation on her blog, uh, Elements, Bath and Body. And uh, so I took the inspiration from there and I modified it a bit. Uh, I'm very excited about that soap. Uh, I used, uh, my oils are um, coconut, olive, shea, avocado, canola and uh, castor oil. And as a fragrance oil, I use the tomato leaf from Brambleberry, and I love it. It doesn't smell tomato at all, but um, I will go uh, and read uh, read what they say about it because I cannot explain the smell, but I love it a lot. And it didn't accelerate the trace. It didn't discolor. It worked great. I love those. So the the you'll see that i it, i use very flashy colors you know i i love flashy colors so it was a joy to make and uh, the what's so special about that soap it's the way it's cut so in my video i have a draw a schema that i included so maybe you will have to stop the video to to watch it but it's a uh, it's very clear i think i hope so and uh, so this is it. Let's go in the kitchen and do that soap. See you later.
Do you like it? I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Terry, for the great idea. And those flashy colors, they stayed flashy even after the three hours in the dehydrator. Woohoo! I love it. Thank you for watching, commenting, and uh, don't forget to put the thumbs up if you liked it. And thank you to all the new subscribers, and it's time for you now to go and make soap. Go, 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 go.